What's good everyone? It's your boy Salos back again with another Pokemon Violet video. And let me tell you something, man. The last episode was actually kind of crazy because we took on Clyde the God, who was actually the, the director of the, of the school. And that fight was crazy, man. That fight went that that fight went pretty hard. But yeah, we were supposed to be mess we were supposed to be meeting Cassipia at the at the schoolyard at nighttime. And it looks like it's about that time. It's about nighttime. So, gotta do the quickest, the quickest team recaps. We're severely underleveled, but I feel like that gets more of a challenge, right? First off, we have Aqua Neos, who is nice and naive, not the brightest crayon in the box, but he has Acrobatics, Jet Punch, Bulk Up, and Drain Punch. Next, we have Felix Arbmeow Scarda, who is also naive nature, not that bright either, but he has U Turn, Play Rough, Night Slash, and Flower Trick. Next up, we have Mr. Saturn who is an adamant nature, who has Swords Dance, Poison Jab, Knock Off, and Facade. And let me tell you, Facade came through last episode. But enough of that. Next up, we have Kilowatch, or the Black Bolt, who has lax nature, not the best nature, honestly. We're still working on that. But who has Terror Blast, Bolt Switch, Discharge, and Hurricane. Next up, we have God of War, the God of War, who came through, who took down that Skeletridge, the final starter, like... Oh my gosh, Gardevoir is like, Gardevoir is that girl, timid nature, who is anything but timid, rocking Aurasphere, Mystical Fire, Moonblast, and Psychic. And last but not least, we have Chad, the, the top net battler in Natopia, who has a nice haste nature, quick on his feet, with rocking Flame Charge, Swords Dance, Bitter Blade, and Shadow Claw. But we're not going to waste any time, we are going straight up to these stairs, climbing the great stairs of knowledge, because Cassipia is waiting for us. So, oh, I ran right into her. I broke, I broke that poor girl's back. But you guys are absolutely hyped for this episode. And to find out Casapia, who he is once and for all, or who they are, we don't discriminate here, make sure you hit that like button because you already know your support is already greatly appreciated. So, maybe we didn't, maybe I took them too literally. Maybe we don't, it doesn't have to be nighttime. Interested in any classes? No, I'm interested in fighting Cassipia. Send me in the schoolyard. Where do I want to go? The, the school store, biology, home ec, nurses offices, the schoolyard. That's where I want to go. I want to go to the schoolyard. Because it's nighttime, right where Cassipia said that we'd be. Salos. No freaking way. No freaking way. No shot. Oh, 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 am I kidding? We all saw this coming. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you acting so shocked? See, he has that face. He knew. Heh. <laughs> This might be, this must be quite the shock for you. No, it's not actually. The big boss, Cassipia, they were both me all along. When I saw you make that quick work of those team star lackeys outside the school that time, the idea for Oper to Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me hold, get, let me get a hold of as much LP as I want. So I decided to use them to tempt you into helping me out. After the operation started, I kept an eye on a member of the. Uh, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit, and I had a and I had you battle those bosses on my behalf, all for the goal of defeating me and putting it into Team Star once and for all. But then, there is another part that just wants Team Star to live on. I just can't roll over and let you put and just win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? I've been ready. Let's do this, Penny. <sighs> Thanks. Sorry to have kept you. A letter of apology to Miss Time had me... Uh, I mean... Preparation is so long than expected. That voice. That voice. Are you Clive? Penny. So is you after... Uh, I mean... Is that you, Cassopia? 
in the flesh. I have a task for you, Clive, if you'll accept it. I want you to record what happens next so I can send the video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Uh, okay, we'll do. All right, a little nervous. I probably should have grinded. Ah! Okay, we're here now. Then allow me to properly introduce myself. I'm the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cassipia. No, Penny. Now, bow down to the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. Look at that smirk! Oh, she is good and she knows it. I saw, I saw that smirk, Penny. Okay, let's freaking go. Let's do this. An Umbreon. She leaves with an Umbreon. This girl's the truth. I won't hold back in this battle. I'll stay true to Team Star's code. I expect nothing less, Penny. But uh, we gotta switch out right now. So, uh, yeah. Um. As cool as this, you have, you have an Umbreon on your side. I, I'm not holding anything back. Felix, come on. Aqua Neos, you can come out another day. Felix, it's your time to shine. The worst he can do is, uh, is, is Thunder Wave us. I think that's literally the worst that he can do to us. So, we about to play rough. Baby doll eyes, look at them eyes. Alright, let's go. Play rough. God, that did nothing. All right, stand tall. Let's get out of there. Umbreon, you did good. Now, I mean, Felix, you did good. Now let's get out of there. All right, now we're gonna U-turn into. We're gonna U-turn into Gardevoir. All right, Gardevoir, it's time to show them why you're the God of War. Let's go. All right. Now, let's try our new move, Moonblast. Let's go. Oh, so close. That all you got, Penny? Quick step. Let's go. Hey, that's my that's my line. All right, good job. All right, that's one down. One down. Five to go. A flip? Oh, she has an evolution team. Why did not Why did not see this coming? Okay, so she's clearly going for a fire move right here. So, Shad, if you would be so kind. Thank you. Shot is just gonna eat that right up real quick. Baby doll eyes, look at them eyes. All right, Swords Dance, let's go. All right, let's um go ahead. We're gonna be back at neutral. Got a Shadow Claw. Baby doll eyes, look at them eyes. All right, shall I call one more time. Baby doll eyes, look at them eyes. Chad, let's go. God. Okay, one well, last time. Is this all she's gonna do? Come on, I thought you were the big bad boss. How are you gonna look at me? It looks like she's just, just like helplessly just looking like. I'm like, just begging. Begging for us to stop. Sorry, baby girl, you asked for this. All right. So she's gonna have an evolution team. I don't see why we can't just go into Aqua Neos, bulk up all over their face, and just sleep. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try just going to Aqua Neos and just sleep. I'm going for game. I ain't hold nothing back. Way to go, Aqua Neos. Oh god, that did some damage. Alright. Let's bulk up. Can you do that again? But can this time can you miss? Can you miss that hydro pump? I need you to miss that hydro pump. 
God! That did some damage. Alright. Let's try to heal some of that back. Jeez! That Vaporeon is bulky! Can you miss that Hydro Pump, please? Aurora Beam. They're gonna try to lower my speed. And that was a crit! Alright, um... Well, shoot. Alright. I guess we'll just Drain Punch. Oh. Or not. Alright, that's fine. You took down Aqua Neos. Not bad, not bad at all. But we still got our ace in the hole. Alright, Felix. Let's go. Let's go ahead. Flower Trick! Way to go, way to go, way to go. Alright. Luckily it's just evolution team. Grassy terrain. Nah, that's not. Alephion. Interesting, interesting indeed. Alright. Alright, just go ahead and U-turn. That did some damage! Way to go, Felix! Alright. Back into Cerule Edge. Alright, Chad. Let's show him why you're, why you're the top battler in, in Natopia. Oh, she was coming for us! She was trying to cook us! Alright. Bitter Blade. Let's go. God. did some damage. But give it all back. Way to go, Chad. Alright, we're almost done. Just a little bit more. You know, it's always been a fan it's always been, been like a very popular it's very it's been a very popular thing among Pokemon fans to have an evolution team. I'm not sure why people have been so fascinated with the idea of a of a full on evolution team, but people have been have been wanting this for a very long time now. So hopefully this satisfies their fancy. I hope this battle shows you guys just how terrible an evolution team actually is. Alright, Felix. Flower trick. Baby doll eyes, look at them eyes. Doesn't matter because I can crit and crit ignores, ignores stat drops. Alright. Only one last thing left to do. Sylveon. I cannot fault this on your battle skills at all. No wonder the boss fell at your hands. Alright. I guess this is starter versus starter. Alright, Felix. You know what to do. We're gonna end Team Star together. Let's do this, Felix! This is my most powerful Pokemon. He rarely comes out because he is too he is too much. But now it is time. Time to rationalize. Shine bright like the starry sky and become the light. Alright. Let's do this. Sylveon looks so good terrestrialized. Holy crap. Alright, Felix, let's do this. Alright, what you got for me, Penny? My VV power will crush you into Stardust. Alright, Felix, brace yourself. This is gonna sting. Oh, Felix, no! It's okay, Felix. Thank you. Your service will not be in vain. We got it from here. Alright, Mr. Saturn. It's all up to us now. Alright. Let's flat this up. Poison jab! Alright. And just like that, it's all over.
The evolution team has been stopped. Good job, Mr. Saturn. <sighs> it's all over now. We did it. We freaking did it, you guys. It's finally over, guys. It's done. We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Hold up, hold up. You're saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking. We got carried away with Operation Star. Now everything's gotten out of hand. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you, when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make them show up for learning some manners. But we didn't have to fight, to fight them in the end. We didn't have to do anything wrong. Indeed. Merely did, merely did we declare our invitation to battle them tooth and nail so the villains to persist to the tyrannous oppression. Plus bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, we didn't even send out their Pokemon. They just, they just blurred and, and apologized a bunch. Our outfits must have, spoke, must have spooked them good. But the boys made a huge stink about what went down, and now they ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired especially. There were no way we were getting off scot-free. I guess you're right. That little stunt might have put us up the creek. I'll fix this mess on my end. Just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you all into this. So I'll take lots of responsibility for everything. Oh, noble, kind, big boss! You cannot. Now the bullies are gone. You shouldn't be start. You should guys start going to school again. Oh yeah. And what about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say is, thanks. Even though we never met in person, you are all so kind to me. Stop right there, BB! What are you talking? Why are you talking like we're never gonna speak again? I need to go take care of some things. Preethi, speak to us! What is thine intent? Hey, big boss! Answer us! Bye guys. Thanks for everything. Oh, Utaba. Thanks for everything, Salos. And you too, Clive. I'm glad I could see this through to the end. I guess this is it for Team Star. <laughs> and me too. Hold it right there, miss. Penny, I'd like you to check something with us with you first. Check what? Why well, resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of, boss of Team Star? Wasn't there another way you could handle this? I tried telling the bosses that we were done once before, but they still didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? Our code states that no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them to do all to, all to do stuff, but I can never order them. So it's back to the code once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did. That's why I knew I could use it to force Team Star to disband. Because the bosses would do anything to the code to require of them, even leaving the team. Yes. And according to the code, they had to accept any challenges made to them. Thus is the idea of Operation Starfall. Cassipia, let me ask you one thing. What does Team Star, no, what do your friends and the team mean to you? There. 
They are my greatest treasure. Hmm. Splendid. Thank you for apprising me to the situation, Miss Payne. What? Now, young lady, there's something I should, I should very well most like to discuss with you. Hey, quit the, quit the old geezer act, Clive. You're creeping me out. Indeed. Well then, before we talk further, I'd like you to reveal my own secret identity. hi -ya! Director Cleavo? Just as Cassipia was your disguise, the boy you knew was Clive was mine. But, but why? I needed a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students do tend to shy away from speaking their mind to teachers, after all. Much more so when we face with the director of the academy. Yes, but where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, that was... I had I had some big feelings about that thing. Oh, uh, Penny! Penny's got a type! <laughs> oh, uh, well then, uh, sugar mama, I uh, guess y'all... Yeah, I guess y'all like a big old Johnny Bravo. Boo-doo-doo! I guess you should've picked Quack was your starter. <laughs> Penny's got a type, okay. <laughs> Well, that's quite enough of that for now. Everyone, why don't you come on out? <gasps> Let me guess, all of Team Star? It is all Team Star! Big Boss, long time no see. Come on, come on. Long time, long time no meet, right? I mean, we only just found out your real name just now. Melly. There is thy long hidden constance a sight for sore eyes, my lady. Matthias. So, um, I heard your real name's Penny? How have you been this whole time? Quarantine. We found you at last. We had no idea how worried we've been. <laughs> Okay, gang, on the count of three. One, two, hasta la vista, Casapia! And hello, Penny. Aw, that is so sweet. Now then, Miss Penny, and each of you young bosses as well. On behalf of the Academy, I have something I would like to say to Team Star. You have, you all have, my sincerest apologies. Come again? As director of the Academy, I let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal, was a dismal failure. What? I still don't, I mean, why? You told me that you, that your reasons for forming Team Star was a subsequent actions. Ever since my first days as director, all I've ever experienced in the Academy was an environment blissfully, blissfully full, free from bullying. But now I know this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger, and of course, your immense courage to put in putting things to right. And so, I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order for Team Star to disband and my threat to expel those who did not obey are hereby revoked. Does that mean what I think it means? Indeed, Team Star can to continue to exist. Should that be your wish? Woohoo! Pity, isn't this great? Now we can stay together. Oh, my height is giddy with plea. But I, I betrayed all of you. You mean Operation Starfall? Director Clive told us all about it. As far as we heard, the only thing the only thing went with it was to save us from getting expelled. You were just worried about us, right? Not like we were ever chunk like dunk a team to cause us after all. Ain't your style. 
I cannot even begin to imagine what how it must have felt for you, old, old Lady Penny. Sorry for making you worry, BB. We are all okay now. But, but even so. Hold on, everyone. I've I have more to say. As previously stated, the acquired for Team Stars band has been revoked. However. There are some set unsettled matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. Your protracted trust, your 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 protracted tru truancy, your brazen customs in school uniforms, your unauthorized academy equipment, your reckless modifications of Jeopardy, a drive Pokemon in powered vehicles. Need I go on? Your flag as is discarded to school cannot be simply overlooked. Laying down the law! Thus, as punishment, you are all required to encourage in community service. Community service? Yes. Specifically, I'll be asking you to manage the STCs. And that stands for... The Star Training Centers. They shall be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talents. I plan to... I plan for Academy to be found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League! The idea came to me when I saw Master Sales battling his way through your bases. The base's construction, as well as your battle tactics employed by students and Team Stars, are, are remarkably unique and creative. I would ask that you continue to, to you will continue your team's activities, but henceforth as STC staff members. Using your former bases as training facilities. And that sums it up. Does anyone have any, concern any concerns? Um, no? It sounds like fun, so I don't see how anything but a win win. This might be a weird saying that from STCs are supposed to be punishment and all, but you should totally join in too, Penny. Tis true. We are more happy to have you on our side, thy lady. We can go to school together too! That way if anything happens, we'll be there to protect you. We'll be already take we'll be already taken about how it'll get to get Team Bolt Team Star to live in our lives. This is a sweet deal for us. So, what do you say? Hey guys. Salos, what do you think? Go ahead, give her your best girl. Huh? huh? But I, I I just no need to give your response right this moment, Miss Penny. Do take some time to decide. But for now, at least, I think our little group should go their separate ways. Ah, not, not to say that you're breaking Team Star after all. I simply meant it's time to leave. Master Salos, please stop at my office later, if you would. That was such a good little ending. Alright, let's go ahead and go to the director's office, shall we? Director's office, here we come. That was such a cute little story. You wanted to talk to me, Mr. Clive the Guide? Ah, here you are, Master Salos. I want to thank you for all your hard work in, re in resolving the situation with Team Star. If not for you, I suspect I would have gone to the same grievous injustice and choice of punishment for their actions. You have my sincere gratitude. Who is it? Um, it's Penny. Ah, oh, Miss Penny! Do come in. Hello, Director. About the STCs, I would like to work with them together and the rest of Team Star. That's wonderful news. Thank you very much for your favorable response. But, um, I... I think I should push more heavily than others, I think. Why so? Because of Operation Starfall? No, not that. Because of the other really bad thing I did. What would that be? Um... You know the LP I gave both you in exchange for helping out Operation Starfall? I got a hold of it sort of 
illegally by hacking into the Pokemon League's LP management system. Holy crap, Penny! This girl's Futaba for real! Oh, I see. That is quite the revelation. I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. That wasn't all that hard. Uh, I mean, <laughs> she, oh god, she bragging about it. She really is Futaba. Oh my gosh, she is Futaba. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord. I mean, I really am sorry and I won't do it again. Hmm. The matter is rather out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I will have to just consult Miss Greta, the Pokemon League chairwoman, on how best to proceed. I figured as much. I do apologize, Master Salos, but I would have to ask you to give us some privacy. Yeah, she freaking hacked the Pokemon League! Holy crap! Well, on that note... What do you mean I can't take a selfie in my room? Well, guys, I guess we can't end off how we normally do, but... We just kind of slapped around that evolution team. If I'm being honest, I think that the, the director's team was more was more challenging than Penny because Penny's team, we just kind of <laughs> just saying, Penny just kind of went out with a whimper. But the director, he gave us the work. He showed us why he runs the school. He showed us why he rules the duels. He showed why he's the master of faster. But uh. Yeah, um, I've been doing this for about three hours now, so I'm going to get my, my poor throat a uh, break. But thank you guys so much for watching till the end. This has been one heck of a ride. And in the next one, I think we're going to go ahead and finish up all the gym leaders. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and finish up all the titans. And then go from there. But with that, I'm about to get up out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Till then, deuces.